coming from Williamson Creek near Manchac and Stastny. KXAN's Aaron Cargyle is being told thousands of gallons of contamination there is not posing a health threat. Aaron. That's right, Leslie. 115,000 gallons. That's the final word from the city. That's about six household swimming pools worth of untreated sewage water in this creek behind me. As you can see, the northbound lane of Manshack is still shut down at this time in this area as crews continue cleanup efforts. Now, they have been pumping wastewater out of the creek and running it back into the sewage line underground that's been temporarily fixed. Now, when crews came down here to investigate, the smell this morning. They found a 10 inch sewage line busted under the bridge over Manshack near Jones Road. Now they stuck a small camera down the pipe and discovered tree roots had grown into that line, causing a blockage. Water pressure had built up and wastewater eventually forced its way through a crack in the line. Now this creek is not fully active and water is not flowing right now, which is a good thing when it comes to containing this spill. Now the city says the sewage is still standing in about a 500 yard section down the creek. People and pets are being asked to stay away until this mess is cleaned up. The city assured me this spill is not impacting drinking water or wells. Good news is the fact that it does flow to the east, meaning it is not part of the uh, Edwards Aquifer recharge zone and it actually is flowing away from the Edwards Aquifer recharge zone. So that's not going to be impacted at all. Now, we are told TCEQ and the health department have both been out and see no health or safety risks right now. Now, tonight's rain could push this wastewater down to the Colorado River, but an official with the watershed department told me that the amount of sewage in the water will be so insignificant that it won't even show up in a water test. We're live in South Austin tonight. Aaron Cargyle, KXA in Austin News.